Well, good morning, folks. It's Steve. We're out here at site uh, in Lipa City, checking out our build. Actually, they started on our roof, and uh, I kind of was been excited to get out and check it out. It's been a long time coming to get that uh, that development going for us. So finally, we got the the roof on site, and the roofers are uh, actually up there pounding away right now. So uh, what we're going to try to do is get you some drone footage later on, so you can see from the start, before, during, and then after. Uh, on our video so you can you can check out and we're gonna go find out what other progress is uh, is going on in the build but uh, first let's do a weather check um, it's a really light breeze beautiful day out here in the in the Philippines um, I can say in the mornings are the most enjoyable time but let's take a quick look at the sky you can see the breeze blowing off the palm trees but uh, like I said it looks like it's not gonna be too hot today beautiful work day um, no rain in the forecast but out here that can change really quickly so let's head on over to the site and see what's going on um, and we we kind of had some other news that I'll update you on as well um, with the build that affects the build so mm, we'll get to that in a little bit and see you on over well folks I got my uh, I got my wind mic uh, on today and had a couple comments from subscribers and and rightly so um, seems like some point the breeze out there is a, is a lot stronger and maybe it's because we sit down in a little valley over here where our builds at that we don't catch that wind and I don't bring my mic cover and you get that uh, noise uh, distortion going on but you can see that uh, on my neighbors build real quick that uh, they've got a driveway started anyway got the rebarb down got some gravel going on the, on the bottom there not sure if that's going to be a a tile finish on it or it's going to be a brush concrete or what they're going to do but I always like to shoot my neighbor's house because it's got such a such a unique build out here it's going to be a beautiful build when he gets through you can see the canopies are done too now or well, they got to just put the uh, looks like the the corner trim pieces on it the only thing missing on it and they're done uh, but they prefab the uh, the canopy supports and uh, those have been completed and they've got the the roofing on it and it looks like they're finishing up just the uh, some of the uh, the welding up on that railing like I said he's an engineer by trade and his grid lines and all that stuff are kind of funny to him uh, stuff that I don't notice that uh, he's really particular about um, and I guess it's just for from that type of job doing it you just second nature let's check on uh, our build over here and see what we got going on still working on the uh, on the front lanai right there where they're gonna they've got that opened up that area to give it a different look to it than and just all all walled in and you can see they got the insulation let me get out of the sun to get you guys a better shot well you can see the uh, opted to go with the single insulation um, I was up in the uh, we had a heavy rain and I was uh, over at my neighbor's house and I didn't notice any noise at all and he was telling me the same thing and he went with the single insulation the same exact insulation that's up there I was going to go with the dual for the heat on it but they're saying that uh, he doesn't have any issues at all of course he hasn't moved in yet you'll find out shortly Here's the garage, we're coming in from the, the garage section. And you can see, see my roofing material. Got part of it stacked up here in the corner. It wasn't the gray I wanted originally. I had to adjust the color on the windows for it. But uh, it is what it is. I also heard that they're having a problem getting uh, CHP or concrete hollow block because uh, there's a big construction job going on out here. It's not due to the COVID. They've had a high increase of uh, COVID cases out here in Lipa in the last uh, last couple of days or last week. And all three of our local hospitals have been maxed out as far as bed capacity goes, which is bad news for everybody. So everybody's a little scared, a little nervous, and rightly so. Rightly so. 
you can see that the job site here still a mess that's the only thing me and the contractor go round and round on is getting that cleaned up but it's his site until, until he turns it over to me nothing else going on at the bottom I can hear a lot of a lot of pounding upstairs and we're gonna go check on see where that noise is coming from and what's caused that noise and looks like they've with the exception of that one strip there all my center structures are are completed so let's head on upstairs and see what's going on got to put my mask on to make everybody safe secure take care of myself as well Oh, that roof and that noise is uh, the guys putting the shingles on upstairs. And you can see the process. I'm wondering about this area here. I'm wondering about this area here because this area here looks pretty flat and that's when you're going to have your issues on your anytime you're going to have leak issues it's going to be related to either metal work or pitch and this looks like it's pretty flat so I'm wondering I'm going to have to ask Dave what they're going to do with that that is a little bit of a concern for me this side looks like it's done well majority of it's done they still got to do quite a bit work on the trim and the eaves have to be have to be boxed in as well they're taking out their plumb lines uh, that's how they keep their walls level here we were out at some point uh, a couple days ago and they had their roof completed they went with a different type of roof so they went that long span which is a good roof but I like the stone coat just a little bit better. Let's head on over here, see if I can get you guys a better angle. The roof design is really cut up here. There's a lot of different angles on this. Unlike my neighbors, where he's basically got it up and over and one pitch over the kitchen, which is a real simple, kind of an elegant design. Um, where in mine is very, very much contrasted that with all the different angles and that drone footage that I'll shoot will, will reflect the type of angles that you have. You can see the actual trim pieces on the corner they've got done over there, running up and it's, supposed to look in a sense like uh, like the old style wood shakes where they lay that down and it's a pretty simple process I was actually checking it out go downstairs pretty simple process where they they just lay the courses on the rows already pre-measured because you have to you have to lay them because it was because all the uh, actual pieces of the roofing material interlock so it's not like in the old wood style shakes where they would adjust the inches they would set the course lines at at 10 inches and then they would either go up or down to in order to get an even line either they would make them nine and a half or ten and a half and but here they all have to line in so they start with their they start with their insulation and then they start with their their bottom row and then just uh, continue to work up that structure and they just trim the stuff's all metal use a set of tin snips and they just uh, trim out their valleys um, and then they're uh, when they have their special trim pieces for uh, the corners and here's a here's a piece of the valleys they just use standard sheet metal for this right here not sure what this piece is over here these corner I'm sure they're for the corner ends on the way they're angled but uh, how they actually set up is a different story but you can see how much how rough and uh, the stone coat is compared to the uh, that slick uh, 
long span that they have going on. The metal work on it. You can see our builder across the street over there. He's a busy guy, been on site, he shares his workload between three or four builds he's got going on and even including his own, so he is a busy guy. But I'm lucky that uh, I was able to find somebody that I could communicate with well and is on site a lot. I'm sure is uh, that stuff will slow down because he's going to be moving to a, a newer house that he's just completing he's in the process of completing now. That's going to increase his uh, his overall time traveling back and forth. So he's already told us that he'll probably only be out the sites three times a week, which is still really good. A lot of times these contractors like you to show up once every couple of weeks. They rely heavily on their foremans, and it's just not the same as having someone on site that's uh, that's actually done the knows the design inside and out, and actually has that stuff set up. Looks like my windows are getting getting all finished out for. For them to come i'm going to have to check with him too to see i'm looking forward to getting those uh they're coming from china they had the they ordered them from a company out in uh alabang and uh and once once we put the order in for it they they source them to china and then china has to send them manufacture them and the reason we went that route was the quality we found out that to get that high quality grade at a decent price i mean China had the best offering. I would have liked to source locally here, but we didn't see any manufacturing places that had that capability to do that for us. Now I was just uh, I was just talking about uh, the roof and uh, the windows, yeah. talking about the process and and how it takes. You know when they have to manufacture them and source them, yeah. send them to China because the only reason we went that route was for the for the price and the quality. The quality. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot better. We, we would have loved to find something locally here, but unfortunately, they just didn't have it. Charge too much actually in this country. If, they, if there is anything of quality, it's probably yeah. been imported anyway. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> You're probably right, Dave. Yeah. Got the roof in. Hey, what's uh, on the concrete hollow block? Angie was telling me that they're. they're the got shortage a big... at the moment. Likely, we might get somebody end of this week, but probably next week. The shortage of everything at the moment. Because of the lockdown in Cavite, the guys that were supposed to be doing the wall can't turn up because they're in lockdown. Wow. The uh, people who are going to install the glass showers can't turn up because they're in lockdown. They won't let them out, huh? That's right. And the windows at Summit can't turn up now for another two weeks because they're in lockdown. Damn. So, yep. <laughs> that's time of the year. Second, second lockdown for me. Yep. Well, we do what we can. We just deal with it day to day. Do. And we're just about to set up for your tiling now in the bathroom. If you want to come and tell me Got that on my list of stuff to do. Okay, we're going to do it right now when you're finished. All right, Dave. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Well, that uh, confirms uh, what my, my suspicions were on the uh, on that on the uh, concrete hollow block, the big big building project, and then the uh, the workers are being holding those guys up. This will be the second delay for me on my build, uh, where there's going to be any type of consequences to it. So, make a long story short, we just deal with it. Well, folks, uh, you heard it from Dave there that uh, some of the delays that are going to happen on the build, fortunately, and that's just the way it is here in the Philippines. You just kind of got to kind of go with the flow. It's no different than any place else that's going to have that's going to be locked down. But out here, like you said, to find the, the the skilled craftsmen, it's tough in this country to find uh, solid masons, um, skilled uh, electricians, um, carpenters, another one, and even welders out here. So, but I don't think that's any different than any place else. I just find a good quality guys there. The, the good guys are working, getting paid a good wage, and they're always in demand. So, that's something you got to nail down a crew and keep them on. Anyway, just want to say thanks again for the support, folks, and, uh, and all the comments and questions. Uh, if you have anything you anything for us, just shoot me a note, and, uh, and I'll try to get back to you on that as, uh, as much as possible. Well, stay safe uh, during these times again with the increased. Uh, COVID restrictions we've got in place and uh, God bless. Take care.